Okay, I, I could I could listen to that for the entire thirty minutes that this is supposed to be mine, but uh I need to play my game. That was uh yeah, I found a bunch of like Barcore versions of Star Wars. You know, although Star Wars is getting a bad rep nowadays, you know, I mean it's still something to like. I like Star Wars. Uh, this one was uh the clones theme. I don't recognize it at all. <laughs> it sounds pretty fucking epic. Um, the beginning of it sounded like something that I can't recall. Anyway, um, we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance, and I fixed, I was able to fix my game. Although, uh, the camping mod is broken. The camping mod doesn't work. So I got the game to load. We're here. In the dark. Now I'm supposed. I wanted to go camping on this beach, but we can't. So we're just gonna have to sit here. Thankfully, there's like a lock to sit. Dried fish. And we're just gonna sit here. Like I can. Ikoruha. Welcome to the uh, the Discord, by the way. Glad to see you there. Right, so like last time I ended the stream short because it like my my game like exploded or it died. It like had a, had a heart attack basically. The game experienced a heart attack. Um, I couldn't. The game wouldn't load anymore. The executable wouldn't work anymore. But you know, I'm kind of used to these things playing these like modern games blind. So I like kind of troubleshoot it and I figured out what it was. Uh, it was a camping mod and also restarting my computer like. Fixed it somehow. Um, but yeah, I can't I can't camp out here anymore, so that sucks. But the the fire I can I can bring out the campfire, but I can't sleep. So I suppose it is it is mm, going into mountains, late into comp line, but um, I can just kind of keep going. The thing is, I don't know where I am, so I kind of want daylight to continue. So maybe I'll just have Henry just read for six hours. And then just drink a lot of cockerel potions. And I got three of them. Like, I was hoping I could just, like, sit here and camp, you know? We got some, like, cooked trout and stuff. We got our dog with us. I got some cooked mushroom. The kind of what to do is make, do, like, a little, little, little relaxing camping time. With the horse and the dog by the riverside. Read some books. Sleep under the moonlight. That kind of thing. Nope. Oh well. It's not like you're like you know the the vanilla game lets you do that to, to begin with. It was a luxury that I enjoyed for a short amount of time while I had the camping mod working. All right, so Henry, well, like I can still set up the fire. So, like I can like still come here. I so I don't think this shit should still work around here somewhere. There goes. So I can still set up the camp. And technically, I can still use it to save. It's just the sleeping bag doesn't work. So the fire is still... I can still use the fire. I can still cook stuff with it. 
Or I just can't use the sleeping bag, which sucks. And I could like try installing the the deluxe with a full version of this mod, which also gives you like the cooking pot here and like the, the, the instead of like this like cloth, it's like a tent. And you also like got like a stash and stuff. But uh, for the time being, we'll just we'll just do it like this. I'm just gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here. Henry is going to uh, enjoy a. Um, I suppose it's a good time to drink the uh, this this. And uh, you know what? I mean, can I read under the influence of alcohol? Honestly, why not? Why don't I just shoot back a moonshine and just drink? I mean, you know, I'm just gonna boom. boom. And, um, I'm just gonna read our book about, um, <laughs> drinking. <laughs> Alright. Let's read this till morning. Appropriate. I forgot where we were going. I think we were on our way to Sassel to become a monk, right? Uh, New level in drinking. What, 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 what? The doggo is angry. Yes? So what? At? Who the hell? Come on. Yo! <laughs> what the? Random Kuman slipping on my tent. <laughs> Turn around. I guess I was like, Henry kind of like dozed off while he was drinking the moonshine. And I guess he... I guess the Kuman didn't realize I was here. And this random Kuman just decided, hey, cool, it's like a camp. So just sleep here. Okay, I'll just take your things. Oh wait, now can I sleep on it? Oh, now I can sleep on it. I guess... I don't know. I guess it belonged to the cumin. Oh, what happened? Did I break my game now? Oh no, 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 no. I guess that's what... I, I don't know, I guess... I guess maybe like the last time I set up this camp, maybe like a cumin locked onto it. But this thing despawns after you leave it alone for a while, so maybe like... I don't know, this, this Kuman's been find, trying to find this camp this entire time. And it took him six hours to get to it. Maybe he's just been like trailing me this entire time, trying to get like... Waiting for the opportunity to, to sleep in my... Sleeping bag. I don't know, but alright. Well, that was awesome. This, this, this is why modding is awesome. <laughs> this... Weird shit happens. You just kind of go with it, right? Just, just go with it. Nice, and turn around and it's like, what the?! Uh my team was also like Whoa! <laughs> And a beatdown ensued. Alright, let's uh, put out this fire. Deal with the fire. Right, let's go. Let's go doggo. Sneak that Kuma in there. Not go on doggo. Oh, you hungry? You're probably hungry, right? Oh, I ate your trout, dude! Oh, I got There's the good doggy. Mm, that's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Let's try me. Okay. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> well, let's go, doggo. Alright, so I don't know where I am. I was kind of going this way. I'm kind of supposing if I follow this river, it'll lead me to Sassel. Seems like I can cross here. Wait, is that what I did? Did I cross from that side? Yeah, I feel like that's what I did. So I think we're. I think we're gonna go this way. And then we found this neat thing. Well, did I cross from here? Oh, 
cross from here? There's two crossings. There's a road up there. Yeah, you know I crossed from there. Alright. So let's go this yeah. way. Sorry, dog L, this way. We found this thing we can't. So we're on our way to Sassel. I think to continue with the main quest. And I'm only gonna play like, you know, like two ish hours. To make up for the uh the uh the short span of time I was I streamed last time due to this uh bug propping up. Ending my uh stream prematurely. We'll see how much uh game we can get done today. See a building. Shit, can I get through here? I don't think so. Yeah. Looks like all that was like intentionally put there. Let's not go this way either. Let's not, let's not go this way either. Let's not go this way either. Let's not break our necks. A little dark. Let's get a torch out of here. I'll take these mushrooms. Vantage point probably there's a road. Something. Oh dude, this takes me back. Hey, get out of it. It's yeah, no this poacher. I killed you before. Can I kill you again? Oh no place for the likes of you. BAM! Apparently it's stealing. Really? But he's poacher scum. Dried pears. Uh, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just take this stuff just because. We'll see what we can do with it. Hunting arrows. Eh. For me. Oh shit. Cleaver. That's cool. What the fuck did he like? I don't like to look. I don't like how there's horseshoes here. Do you notice that? Like, did he kill someone's horse and like butcher it? <laughs> That's the story I'm seeing here. Fucking loser. Fucking douchebag. He deserves to get donked and bonked in the head by me. See, I took all this stuff. Are these... Are these takeable? Can I take these? No. What? Sleep and save here. Alright. Well, can I... Can I cook with this? No. Alright. What is a wimple, and why do I have one? Oh, right, I found like a dead person. <clears throat> uh, for me. E. 13 hucks of raw meat. I think the dried pears like suck. Dr Ooh, dried Leo Pita. 
The dry pairs like super suck. Beyond comprehension. Where'd I get the Kutenberg caress? I don't remember. Yeah, why would I eat these? So much better fresh sliced and fried in pork lard, but it doesn't keep well. Shame you can't make that dish. I guess if I want to, like, forcefully bring my energy down, I, I guess. Anyway, let's, let's keep going. I'm kind of worried that this is gonna like take us back to Talonburg again. What's that? Is there like a naked girl out here? Or is this was this where Jakey was? Maybe. No, this is where the useless miller is at. Yes. And the useless miller means I'm near the Lejetsko. I think. Where am I? Which one was the useless miller? Was it? No, this is Simon, right? Or it's like... No! He... We're, we're one of the... Alright, so we are near Sa Sasso. That's good. So I, I want to cross this. Good. I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna go this way. It's going left there, it just follows the river. What the crap is that? Have I checked that? And the, uh. It's gonna be whiskey in here and there. Oh, I checked it already. It was for a quest. Well, like he, the guy had like a captured cumin, and he wanted to know what he what he should do with it. So I took him to get hanged. The guy was like, "No, Rate, no, Rate." I was like, "Yes, Rate, you're gonna get hanged, fucker." I'm assuming he got hung. Oh, speaking of cumin, speaking of dirty cumin, yeah, I got a doggo. Ordinary arrows. Let's use these. Yeah. Oh, I got hit! Well, being in the inventory screen. Fucking A. Ah! <laughs> That'd leave your. Ouch. That'd leave your next door. My doggo! Shun, you piece of shit. Every last coin you have. Oi, oi, Chagladio. 
legközelebb mészlik be a prittalak. Dude, you had like no money. Who's anything about you? When you take your bow? Oh, he went that way. Fuck! I thought he was gonna go along the road. He's serpentined. I thought he was going to run down the road. Uh, can I get this arrow? Look, look at these arrows, all of us. Can we take any of these arrows? There we go. Wounding arrow. Fucker, shoot me with wounding arrows. All these are mine. I somehow managed to hit this giant tree like 20 times. Oh, oh you're a good dog. There's the good doggy. Mm, that's my boy. That's my boy, yo. Henry, take the arrow. Let's see. Cumin Brigandine. Whoa, I've never seen that before. It looks cool. Sure. Groshin. Dude, that guy totally did not give me all his groshin. These guys usually be packing like 50 groshin per dude. That guy totally skimped out. He did not give me all his groshin. Never seen a cumin brigandine before. I don't know what else it looks like. Oh, that's pretty cool. Looks like some kind of road warrior. It sucks, but it's cool looking. Why is it like 10? What is up with this game and leather armor weighing more than metal armor? Unless that's like... Like a thing. I mean, I never had to wear armor before. So I wouldn't know. Anyway, let's, let's pick up stuff. So let's switch to your cumin bows because they're worth a lot. Nice. Oh, I, I did hit him. Haunting sword to helmet lock pick. 24 days. This. Doggo, salami for days. You want us to lammers? Doggo, you get to have a salamers. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Ah, oh, but we got all kinds of other food. Uh, no, I said salamers. So you can have a salamers. There you go. How's my health? 90, perfect. Dry food gives me health on it, yes. Dried pears, is so worthless. These fuckers keep getting these wagons that don't exist in this game. Yeah. Hey, we made it to Sasso! Starting to finally understand where things go where. Or what paths go which. Sort of. Un unless I'm like in the middle of the map. 
Yeah. Unfortunately, I won't be able to attend that tournament. Boss, why are you Good shunning morning. away from me? Morning. I'd like to make use of the bath. And what is it you'd like? Oh, not that dude in my face. Uh, that heal my wounds, bath and laundry, get a haircut, get a shave. Not just this proper bath. As you wish. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely. This <laughs> guy, get away, get out of me. <laughs> Everything's awkward. All right. Now is that hot merchandise I got from the poacher still hot? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Good. Oh, yes, good. So I can I can sell this shit. I got deer hide from somewhere. Pot somewhere out here I can use. Was there a cooking pot by the bathhouse? Ah! Oh, this doesn't work. Not in there. Yes, you do. One here. Just holding out a dead deer to cook over your fire. So, so like um looking to fix the camping mod I do I found found another camping mod that I had, like that I could have tried to maybe fix the ability to camp but then like the other version of this camping mod had like all this other random crap that I totally did, did not ask for like milking cows and all this all the dumb stuff so I didn't install it but anyway what we want to undergraduate in Japan as a foreigner and are not a descendant. Uh, are you in America? You have any tips for people who want to undergraduate? Like you want to study abroad here? Is that what you're asking? What's that? Tokyo to prepare for the. Uh, want to study the Japanese language in. Akamonkai, Akamonkai, Tokyo. We prepare for the EJU, but my parents can't pay. I pass the exam, but full mentality can't pay the full mentality of the college. Well, it's time for you to get a job and uh, bank a loan. Uh, I don't know if you can, like, enroll, like, in a Japanese university. I'm not sure how that works. Uh, you probably... Oh, I don't know what mentality means. You probably need to be... Fluent in Japanese to be able to enroll in a Japanese university or college, probably. It's probably one I, I would assume. Um, 
like, I don't see how you won't be able to. Like, you know, like, just like how anyone would, like, go to, like, I don't know, Oxford or some kind of, like, college in England, for example. But you probably need to be able to speak the language. Unless you're saying, like, you want to go to, like, enroll in a college that has a branch here, like Temple. Where's the butcher? I hope I can be of help to you, Knight. I want to buy livestock. No, I don't. Very well. Um. Monthly fee. Yeah, you have to get a. My mic is off. How is that possible? That's that probably probably me mumbling to myself. Like, I suppose st studying in Japan would be a way to learn Japanese, but I figured the best way to go about that would be to find a college or university that has a branch in Japan. And the only one I know, just because my friend did this, is Temple University, but I'm sure there's like others, like, especially like... Catholic schools and stuff. Let's have a word about the. Is that the answer you're looking for? Well, we can try it. Or I mean, I mean, here. My word. Japanese is like like a commodity now, right? Like all the all the weeaboos is making teaching Japanese worthwhile. So if you want to learn Japanese, I'm sure like there's like classes in Japanese and stuff. Where you're at, just make sure that you go to a university or a college that has Japanese as one of the uh, in in the curriculum or whatever. Is my mic still off? I don't think my mic is off. Sell you the bow. Okay. So is that was that was that sufficient of an answer, or shall we elaborate? My respects to you. May the Lord watch over you. Nice. I can sell these for point five here. Good. Ordinary arrows. These cobwebs you can have, you know, some of these lockpicks. You know what, I should hold on to these lockpicks because I'm going to a place that might require them. This. You're welcome. Oh, dude, you don't have any money. That's a problem. Alright. Uh, you're back to 150! So, like, what's up with guys that return back to their original wealth, but, like, then the armor is just like, no, nah, I'm just gonna, like, keep making tons of money. Ah. So, if I, like, leave the Rete armor alone for, like, a long, like, 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 at least, like, a week or something, maybe, like, why do the, why does some guys reset, but other guys don't? Uh. 
All right, well, that's fine. Uh, I'll show you these things. Ah, oh, shit, I, I didn't haggle. Oh, well. I'll just sell the rest to the bath water lady. Yeah, so you have any, like, I don't know. As you, as you, as you do you. You got anything else that you want, you want to bring up and ask, you know, just, just holler. I, I'll try the best I can to answer, but, like, college has been, like, 20 years ago for me. God bless. I don't know how shit works anymore. But I'll, uh, try to be straight up with you. Let's talk about the price. Well... What do you say to this? Less... See now. These mushrooms. I know these mushrooms. Yeah, drink, drink one of these. You don't need sleep. So who works here now? Some guy? Yeah, some guy. Oh, it's just a blacksmith! Wait, but I want a swordsmith. I want to talk to some chimo blacksmith. Is Fink's wife still here? Oh, good. She's still here. What? What? You? Wait, you didn't... It's it's good that you're still here, but it's weird that you're still here. Why didn't your husband? Why didn't your husband take take you to Prisla's of it? Why didn't Why didn't he take you to Henrysburg with you with him? That's kind of weird. Okay. Is that why you're not looking at me? God preserve you. Good night. Uh huh. Let's talk about the price. Well... Is this enough? I'd almost check on that. Aye. That would do it. But I suppose he was like, well, you hold down the fort here, because I don't want to sell this business, so we'll, like, make double the profit. I guess that's what he's doing. Smart. But now his wife's probably getting shagged by this guy, but he's probably like shagging. <laughs> Why would I assume so? I don't know. God's blessing. Is that, is that how things naturally go? Take care now. Yeah, he sells. Alright, he sells swords. He's, he's not a blacksmith. He's a swordsmith. That's good. He doesn't sell the uh, that thing. Oh, he's 60. YOLO, 69 reputation. With me.
the Ambrose. I'm gonna get you more stuff. Uh, including this. And, uh, I'm not sure if that shoemaker will have more money. Let's hope he will. Just give me my hat, horse. Boys, the wimple. Good day to you. What's up? Yeah, no. Some of this looks stupid. And this. And these spurs. And this. These gloves. What the? Oh, dude! What happened? Your money is gone. Oh, you know why? It might be because I, like, loaded the game. It might be because... I like uninstalled the game, the the mods, and then reinstalled them. That's probably why it probably resetted everyone's wealth. To yeah, but then. Oh, but you know what? I don't think the bathhouse ladies. Had their wealth touched? Maybe I thought I did. Okay, so you uh, spend all your money on booze and hookers? Alright. That's cool. Um, well, I'll take this back. And I'll sell you uh, these coifs. This wimple. Okay. I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. Satisfied? That sounds pretty interesting. All right, so. Why are the traders at one fifty though? I thought I set them higher. It will still taste good. I intentionally set the the trader higher, their their base wealth higher than all the other stores because I don't know anything I can't sell. I I wanted it so that I can just sell to the trader. Well, let's see. So, Master, did you just like spend all your money on a castle or something? God save. No, look, his his wealth is still working. Like, what the fuck? That's so weird. What what makes the armor special? All right, well, hold up. Putenberg caress. Where did I get that? Where did I get this Putenberg caress? Super, don't remember. It's like in perfect condition. Where the hell did I get this? I don't remember. At all. Oh, I remember. I remember. I got it from the chest. Yes. Um, I got it from uh, Kuno. Which means I can sell it. I think I want it. It's got like a point, two points more protection. Eighty nine noise. I wonder. Maybe I'll hold on to it. Maybe I can like bang the noise out of it. Alright, I'll, I'll take the Kuttenberg. It's back. Uh, 
Let's have a word about the price. Well, we... Are we agreed? It'll take more than that to... See now? This look like Coomber Grass. I mean, it looks like like a Coomber I mean, it's um simple, which I like. I like simple. I'm just I'm gonna do it. All right, let's see. Let's see about the cobbler. Let's see if the cobbler has no money either. Salami, sausages. Lard of all kinds and scratchings that make your mouth water yeah. more than the finest cake. You got money? God grant you health. No! No any money! What, what do you what do you guys keep spending your money? Did you like stub your I stub your that a night such looks like he stubbed his thumb? Farewell. You guys keep blowing your money. Here, I have these shoes. Um just okay. Something I got like a thing. Mace. Okay. That looks complicated. So, this quest, what do I gotta do? Go with the writ to the monastery porter. Okay. Probably want to go in light, right? Yeah.
So I'll leave a lot of the stuff at the horse. Oh, you got another white horse friend, though. Yeah. Um. And I'll leave. Some difficulty. Do I need these things? Pauldrons. I don't need the Hallberg. Damn it, I keep selling those gloves. Coif. This only weighs five, though. It's the Hulbrick that's just hyper heavy. Of potion, we might need that. Dried mushrooms, bears, tons of these. Might have had the potion one salami. Ah, uh, I'm gonna bring the salami. Eight saber snaps. Okay, what's we got here? Ocean, do I in a monastery? I say that. Lock picks the dice. Oh, the dried meat. I'm sure I'll find some food in there. Salami, though. <coughs> oh, you want the salami? You get to have my last salami. Good fella. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. So I'll go like this. Kind of wish I can wear like something over. But. We'll be okay. I think. I mean, give me that. Give me that. Give me this. Give me this. And uh, give me this so I don't look evil. This hyper raises my noise level. Actually, this already makes me look evil now. This makes me look more knightly. I will be fine. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Oh, the horse can stay here. Alright, so I need to ask... That guy! That guy's walking around. You do, man, bro. I'm the novice Carl. I'm expected. I'm Carl. I'm supposed to enter as a novice. 
We expected you sooner. Weren't you supposed to come here with your guardian? It's been so hectic lately, people will keep turning up out of the blue. Um. Hey, I'm here, aren't I? What of it? I'm here, aren't I? Well, you're a bit bold, aren't you? Well, the brothers will soon knock that out of you. Well, we'll see. Can you read and write? Naturally. I wouldn't be here otherwise. So then, are you ready to enter the Order of St. Benedict and renounce forever the temptations of this world? Sure. I am. Then you must rid yourself of all your worldly possessions. Fuck. Sell them or give them <laughs> to the poor and needy or donate them to the monastery. You may not enter this place burdened by worldly goods. Inside the gatehouse is a trunk in which you will find monks' robes. Put away all your possessions and dress yourself in the habit. Then you may rest a while, while I go and see the prior to arrange matters for your acceptance. May the Lord watch over you. Uh, so I gotta get rid of all my things? Put away all your worldly goods and chattels. Put on the monk's habit. Get rid of everything? Oh, it's optional. If I want to get into the cloister, I can't have any worldly possessions. There's a trunk in the gatehouse where I can put my things. Oh. Oh, okay. I'll just put it in there. Alright. Oops. I want to see something. Okay, taking off. All right, all right. There's a reason why I just did that. I don't feel like cleaning myself though. I'll just do it. Just in case I'm to like take all and like book it. Like, take off from that chest I'm dumping all this stuff into, and then book it. I want to make sure I'm, I'm, like, not overburdened. That's passing. Alright, that's not the way I'm supposed to go into. All these, like, doors are open, though. <laughs> I guess because I opened them. It's kind of weird how this... So many quests tie into this monastery, it kind of spoils it. Gate... House. Where's the gatehouse? Is that the gate? I already did. Well, I'm allowed in here. Well, there's some of my things. I don't know where the gatehouse is. Now I'm trespassing. Where the crap is a gatehouse? Hold up, hold up. There's a trunk in the gatehouse where I can put my things. Oh! I got you. I didn't know what I know. Alright. Yeah, this is a fortress monastery. This isn't just. This entire area is the monastery, not just the building itself. So the gatehouse, I'll assume, is over here. And I assume my robes is also in here. Is this the gatehouse? Is there like a house that's like a gate? Nipples. Here?
use. Strange feeling being without all of that. I didn't realize how much I'd grown used to it. Reach a new level of stealth. Everything's prepared. It's time for you to take your vows. Cool. Do I really have to wear this? You'd better get used to it. You'll be wearing it for the rest of your life. And are you like a nerd? Oh, fuck, all these guys look like cutthroats. gathered here today to welcome a new novice into our midst. Dear brother, forget your former life and embrace your new vocation in the community of the monks of St. Benedict. Opus Dei, obedientia, obprobria, the service of God, obedience, and endurance of all discomfort. These are the cornerstones and succor of our order, which on this day shall become your own. And counterfeiting. Suscipe me, Domine, secundum eloquium tuum et vivam, et non confundas me. Ab expectatione mea. It's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Suski pe me domine secundum. In loquium tuum vivam, et, et non confundas me ab expectatione me. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Accept your new name, Brother Gregor. And wear it with honor. Welcome, brother. I wish that was a mini game. They could have told me about that. All right. Welcome, brother. I am Antonius, a novice like you. You're a bro, dude. I've been instructed to guide you around the monastery and tell you what you can expect and what your duties will be. Oh, well, tell me when I need to sing again. Yeah, thanks for finally doing it right. Thanks for helping me out during the ceremony. I had no idea what I was supposed to do. You don't know Latin, do you? Don't worry. Work in the scriptorium will teach you fast enough. Why exactly are you here? Was it your choice? Or did someone force you to come? Uh... Um, I'm being punished. I'm being punished. If it were up to me, I'd still be spending my days in taverns and my nights with whores. I don't envy you. Unfortunately, you're here for the rest of your life. Okay. 
Would you tell me something about yourself? I'm a novice and I'm here because I'd make a poor merchant. I like books and I want an education. Although I must say, so far the monastic life's been quite unexpected. Okay. Should we not do the tour? Yes, so the tour. Is it all right if we don't do the tour? I thought that since you're literally a complete novice, you'd be interested in oh. what you have to do tomorrow. But if you don't want to come with me, I won't force you. Here's a letter from the prior with the daily schedule. Read it and observe it. Whoops. No, no, let's go then. Let's go then. Yeah, let's go. I, Good. I... But before we do, here's a letter directly from the prior telling you all your regular duties from tomorrow onwards. Oh, God. Make sure to read it this evening so you know how things work. Right, we can go now. Follow me closely. I'll explain everything as we go. All right. Remember one word. Discipline. Uh -huh. It's your job to work and pray. You serve the Lord now, not your own bodily needs. Fuck. I just cut off my penis then. Let's see. Characters. I got somebody. Sir Hanish of Lipa now. What? Society. Something under society. Monks and monastic life. Every monastery, especially those of a Benedictine order, followed specific rules regarding allocation of time, activities, and positions in the monastery hierarchy. In addition to worship, devotional reading, and copying or illuminating books, the monks labored physically. Depending on the time of year, they devoted between six and eight hours to labor, three and a half hours to prayer, and an equal time to study. The remainder of the day was allocated for rest and short sleep. Or the day, yeah. Monasteries often had seminaries for monks and preacher priests as well as med medicinal workshops. The brother infirmarius, the monk in charge of healing, worked not only in the monastery infirmary but also helped outside the monastery. That's probably that guy, Nicodemus. The day was divided by prayers. The liturgy of the hours consisted of seven offices, beginning with matins, also called vigils after midnight. The first cho choral prayers, lauds, were recited at dawn or between 3 a.m. and 4 a.m., followed by prime at the time of the equinox at 6 a.m., terse at 9 a.m., sex at noon and known at around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I like I knew this. An hour before sunset, the evening prayers, vespers, were said at the daily cycle close before bedtime, usually half an hour after sunset, with compline. After morning mass, the community met in the chapter house and listened to readings selected from chapters of the rule. The order's book of precepts and regulations. Then there was a sermon and debate concerning the monastery. The brothers confessed their sins and were rebuked or rebuked others. Until midday prayers, sex, they worked or studied. That's gonna suck to have like, like, one of the hours of the day, they named like, Sext. <laughs> and you're a monk. Is that what you like? don't want to be thinking about? The rule primarily contained instructions concerning internal organization, emphasizing, for example, obedience on... Uh, the monasteries were closed from the outside. Okay. Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, that's where we are now. That's Pope Benedict. Yeah. Was elected anti pope in 1934. What is he's an anti pope? He had previously withdrawn his allegiance to the Italian Pope Urban VI, who represented the Catholic Church in Rome. Oh, it's, yeah, it's one of these, like, there's like a million popes. I unlock here. Monastery hierarchy. Whoa. In the 
monastery of St. Procopius at the time of Abbot Peter, 1337-1405, to i.e. the time of our game, there were about 30 monks. Their names in the game derived from the surviving records of brothers actually there at the time. Really? So I'm a Gregor. That's pretty cool. Alright, thanks for that. So you're like... You're like an actual dead dude. Whoa. It's pretty freaking cool. It's eerie in a way. Salve Domine. Yeah. Like... This is the way to the dormitory, where we all sleep. You'll find a free bed there, which is now yours. Cool. Do you know the first thing the monastery taught me? What? To appreciate sleep. Well, like being in the army. You rise before dawn every day. Takes a bit of getting used to. I've read one of the manuscripts copied by one of the novices. This I'm is the garden. A place for silent contemplation touching, and meditation. Okay. Centuries ago, horrible, this monastery was founded by the most touching. esteemed of brothers, St. Procopius. No his earthly remains can be found in a cave under the monastery, and his spirit wanders the corridors at night, punishing any misbehaving novices. <laughs> so beware. Here are the fratery and scriptorium, together with the library. These are the places where we work. Ora et labora. Pray and work. Mm -hmm. As a novice, oh. you must always listen to your superior brethren. And above us monks are the prior and the circators, who punish every infraction. You'll know them by the canes they carry. Do what they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is that the dog barking outside? <laughs> Great. This is the refectory, where we come okay. together to eat. During meals, you must be silent. Only one brother reads aloud from the rule of St. Benedict. Okay. The rule is the only law we recognize, with the exception of those from God himself. If you break any of it... Precepts... I've already told you about the circuitors. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've been in here... The library. The pride of our monastery. A trove of learning. We don't just read books here. We also copy them. You, too, will learn how. And that's okay. all. Today you are still free from duty. But tomorrow you begin work like the others. If you need anything, ask any of the brothers. We'll be glad to help you. And I recommend you get to know the other novices. You already know me. Then there is Siskin, Yodok, and Lucas. Mm. Thanks for showing me around. There's a lot to learn here. No. Uh <laughs> looking to get a hold of some lockpicks. Tell me something about yourself. Can you tell me something about yourself? There's not much to tell. I lived in Vlashim and after my father died, I found out I wasn't much of a merchant. So I left the shop to my brother and decided to become a monk. It's peaceful here. There's food and lots of time to read. So you chose to come here? It may seem strange. But I'm one of the few novices that did. I might be the only one. The truth is, the idea of spending my life in a monastery was more appealing than being cooped up in a greasy old shop. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who's in charge of things around here? Truthfully, everyone except us. <laughs> but officially, Abbot Peter. And soon enough, someone else. As if it mattered. Our life will still be work and prayer. I see. Hmm. Are there any rifts between the brothers? Yes. From the moment talk began about electing a new abbot, it's been mm. like a hornet's nest here. Strange you haven't noticed. Electing the abbot? Tell me something about electing the abbot. Abbot Peter is old. When he dies, they'll have to select a new abbot from amongst the brethren. The candidates are John and Nevlas. And if you ask me for my opinion, Nevelas is definitely the right man. Unfortunately, no one cares about my opinion because novices get no say. Uh -huh. Tell me something about life here. Work, prayer, work, prayer, as if you didn't know. We serve God, and that's the central truth of our lives. 
What are the roles of the various monks here? Someone takes care of the library, someone else the garden. The abbot supervises everyone, and in his absence, the prior. But it's the circators you should worry about. They're the brothers who'll make sure we observe the rules. Mm. They can be quite strict, so if you want to avoid getting punished, always act righteously and do your duties honestly. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I like to search all this stuff. <laughs> so I literally have nothing in my... No. Oh, no. I literally don't have anything. Crazy. Except, you know, my quest items, including uh, Did I like, not deliver this? I'm pretty sure A bloody hoof pick And this forbidden book that I got from this li very library A lot of freaking reading to do out here. <laughs> Dog is out there. God. Dog, go like, feed yourself. Silence. On evil morals in Bohemia. Go be a monk for a second. What is that? I like the music here. I'm going to play special music. The Papal Schism. Hmm? Treasure Map 7, hey. I did like read all these books. Yeah, I already got like the key for this. <laughs> forbidden books must be in that cabinet. It contains forbidden books. Okay. Hey, Monk. What would you like? What? Hi. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. But I've no time for idle chat. I transcribe books from dawn till dusk. I've been doing it for years, and I'll be doing it till the day I die. What, you do nothing else? Whoa. It is my penance and my blessing. And now, brother, if you don't mind, I'd like to get this page finished. am I? You dare ask? I am 38. Oh, there is to say those words. <laughs> oh, Rob. I want to rob. Having a torch might be useful. Can we have a torch around here? I don't know how you see, see that as nice. But yeah. That's how it is. Alright, I got, I got this like book I need to read. Let's see. Can I sit here? Can't sit here. Like this. I can't read it. I need, I need, I need light. You're neglecting your daily schedule. Oh shit! I don't- I thought I, I- didn't have a daily schedule. Following schedule describes the daily activities you shall attend to in the first years in our monastery. Come, sir. Why would anyone do that? 
Okay. Meternum, start of the day. Lauda's morning prayer. Or a prima common meal. Or a second to work in. Brother. Yes? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's workshop. Um. You're right, brother. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. What am I supposed to be doing? What am I supposed to be, What's supposed to be doing? We're none of us getting any younger. But a couple oh, you know, I think I'm supposed to be sleeping. What, what are we supposed to be doing? Where are you going? Yeah, I think we're supposed to be sleeping. I tell you, brother, these all night revelries are beginning to tire me out. We are none of us getting any younger, but a cup of wine makes it all worse. That guy is telling the truth. The whistling is allowed? <laughs> Alright. The whistling is allowed. Right, which one of these beds is mine? Which is Gregor's? Which is like a sleep and sit. There it is. I guess this one's mine. Alright, but there's like. I need. I need. I need light. Oh. Sweet over here. What time is it though? When it is meditation that you seek, prayer and study can be substituted for food and sleep. What does that even mean? Uh, okay, so I gotta get up at start of the day. Matutinum. Okay, but start of the day, I, I need to sleep. It's kind of weird. Alright. Latin's morning prayer. Wait, wait, what? Really? Common meal. Work in a monastery. Morning prayer lasts three hours? Sex. Work in a library. Okay. Afternoon worship. Common supper. Rest. Okay. Is that it? Alright. Henry, you need to go to bed. Now, this is like serious business. This shit's serious business. <laughs> uh, so when do I need to get up? I hope someone's gonna be there like to wake me up. Sleep for Fuck. I should have taken, like, every, like, cockerel potion. I totally underestimated what being a monk was all about. I'm like, ah, they'll serve food and stuff. They'll let me sleep. No. <laughs> Wait, they're still sleeping. These pucks are still sleeping, wait. I thought the book says... Go to the church for prayer and mass. Yeah. Oh, are they getting up? Ah, see? I did it right. No, I'm not. I'm going to the church. Going to the church. 
You know what? You guys go first. You guys are work walking too slow. Can we walk faster? There's nothing. God never told. God never said anything about walking super slow. All right, which way is it to the church? Nice, right, come on. Do you guys have to make this creepy? I'm not neglecting my daily schedule. I'm, I'm on it. I'm following these guys. Do I gotta stand somewhere? Is there like a novice line? Stand next to Lucas. So I just sit here. What what are we gonna do? Do I just sit here? Seem like I just stand here. Um How long do we do this? Uh... What are you guys praying about? Really good. Do I like go up to it? Um So um Yeah. Jesus is the man. Jesus, Jesus, he died for our sins. Where's that guy going? So oh God! <laughs> Why did she just suddenly start talking? It's like a spot I go to like start praying. Or do I just wait? <laughs> or a primer. So this lasts until the sun comes up. What time is it? Oh, it's almost there. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Now what? Now... Now we do... Wait, wait. Work, work, what? Working... I'm, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. What? Brother? Yes? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Idle hands are the devil's work. But you guys aren't even letting me. Uh... I apologize. You're right, brother. This is your second warning. Do it again, and you will be punished. I kind of want to be punished. I don't know what that's like. I don't know if it's like some like kinky dominatrix shit. Wait, now I get to... And non-sensual everything seems here. And always Antonis offered to show me the ropes, which I was glad to accept. Okay. So I probably want to do that. Uh, 
Uh. Come on, let's get it. Let's eat. Ta -ta -ta -ta. What? Brother. Yes, I'm hungry. What are you doing here? Uh, sorry. You're right, brother. Now, this is your third warning. And do you know what that means? A day in solitary confinement. Okay. Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that's not allowed in the monastery. Uh-oh. Look at the treasure map. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I mean, it's not like Henry's... It's not like Henry hasn't done this before. Whatever. So I guess running is... Running is not allowed. So Henry, Henry's... There was a time when Henry spent, like, a week in jail. Like, a day is like nothing. He was accused of murder. Murder that he did not commit. So I'm gonna, like, come out hungry and starving. Alright, Koruha. I enjoy your lunch, and uh, thanks for stopping on by. And uh, good luck with your uh, schooling. Hope you get them Japanese lessons. We're gonna like talk in Japanese and stuff. Yeah, man, I totally played in the spirit of the game. Go to bed. It just, it just. While I was locked up, someone was making quite a racket in the cellar. Blind drunk, I'm sure of it. I wonder what's been going oh. on. Let's not find out what's going on in the cellar. Go to the church for prayer and mass. Yo! <laughs> Being a monk is hard. It's like, do this and this at the same time in two opposite places. How am I supposed to do that? It's like, what, what, what the hell? With, 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 with God's aid, of course. Okay, well... That's cool. That's, that's good to know. What else am I supposed to do? Go to the church for prayer and mass. Each day in the monastery begins and ends with communal prayer, followed by mass in the church. It seems I can somehow excuse myself from prayer, but attending mass is compulsory for all. Oh, okay. Alright, so I just need to show up. Cool. And then I can just do whatever the fuck I want. No, wait, 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 what? What? Wait. No, I'm not. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, it's a Sir K tour. Do I follow these... Ronies out? I'm not allowed to do it. I'm gonna do it, like, super slow. I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in jail. <laughs> Henry has no clue what he's doing. Henry is completely underestimating what it takes to be a monk. It's like 20 times harder than being like like a survivor of bandits. Brother? Yes. What are you doing here? I'm trying to leave. You're right, brother. This is your first warning. Okay. Wait, where the fuck am I supposed to go? Do I just avoid them? Maybe I just need to avoid the circators. Apparently, just being next to them. This is them all. But, uh, Antonius did warn us. Just, just don't. Stand next to us or Kato, or they'll just find an excuse to send you to jail. <laughs> you did say that. It's the prior. Oh, yeah, the prior. Oh, I didn't know he was that important. 
I pickpocketed him like 20 times. No, I'm not. I'm doing a good job. Okay. Oh! Wow! They like super feed you and and you get super arrested in jail. That is like luxury jail. They took that map from me. Alright, so I don't have to be here. It's not like I have any clues to anything. What's next? Maybe I'll just get started early and what I have to do next. I should have told the dog to go back to the mill, huh? That's one thing I forgot to do. I should have done that. I feel bad for the dog. So what, what time is it? Shit, 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 everyone's leaving. What? Brother? No, yes! What are you doing here? <laughs> You're I'm... right, brother. Yes, my this dad. This is your second warning. Okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'll get this straight. I'll get this right eventually. I have to eat in silence? Where do we... When do we get to talk? Not for this. He should just. He should just done what he was good at and just sneak in here, like a ninja, and just kill every novice. One of them has to be pious. <laughs> just be like, well, I killed them. And what? What did I need to bring back? I need to bring back proof. He had like lucky dice or something. No, 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 it's a Sir Kator! Don't look at him, don't look at him, don't look at him. No, no, don't look at me. Don't look at me! The rule of Saint Benedict. Readings on humility. The first degree of humility is obedience without delay. This is the virtue of those who hold nothing dearer to them than Christ, who, because of the holy service they have professed, and in fear of hell and the glory of life everlasting, as soon as anything has been ordered by the superior, receive it as a divine command and cannot Yo, there's actual eating animation, and it's like wasted. I feel like this game has eating animation. God and pleasing to men only if what is commanded is done without hesitation. We're not to talk here. Delay, lukewarmness, grumbling, or objection. For the obedience given to superiors is given to God. For if the disciple obeys with an ill will and murmur, not like... necessarily with his lips, but simply in his heart, then even though he fulfills the command, yet his word... I feel like the fact that Henry can have eating animation is wasted. But I should be able to do this, like, more often. I think this is cool. He will incur the punishment due to murmurers unless he amend and make satisfaction. The rule of Saint Benedict. Readings on humility. The first degree of humility is obedience without delay. This is the virtue of those who hold nothing dearer to them than Christ, who, because of the holy service they have professed, and the fear of hell and the glory of life everlasting, as soon as anything has been ordered by the superior, receive it as a divine command and cannot suffer any delay in execution. But this very obedience will be acceptable to God and pleasing to men only if what is commanded is done without hesitation. Delay, lukewarmness, grumbling, or objection. For the obedience given to superiors is given to God. For if the disciple obeys with an ill will and murmur, not necessarily with his lips, but simply in his heart, then even though he fulfills the command, yet his work will not be acceptable to God. Mm -hmm. He sees that his heart is murmuring. Oh, oh we can get up. We can get up. We can get up. Work as this, he will incur the punishment due to murmurers. The dog is outside barking up a storm. Wait, where'd he go? The rule of Saint Benedict. Wait, did he get another bowl of soup? The first degree of Bro, are you that hungry? Delay. This is the virtue. 
So did that fill my- no, that didn't fill my energy. Wait, what the fuck? What is this soup and why is it not filling my energy? Okay. As soon all right, as all right, anything all right, all right. Okay. As a I'm gonna go. And Shit. Any in but this very to the acceptable to God and pleasing to men only if what is commanded is done with perfection. Where are we going? Oh, no, no, I'm trespassing. Novices have no business here. My bad. God, who sees that his heart is murmuring, and far from gaining a reward for such work as this, can I step outside now? Punishment due to Go work in the front. Okay. Unless he amends any okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Do, 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 do. I'm walking slow. I'm walking slow. Okay, where's where's the provost? I'm ready to do this. Come on. I'm totally ready to like illuminate books and shit. Come on. Or whatever it is that I'm supposed to do here. Brother Nevelos, was that him? Pretty sure it was him. Oh, he's opening a chest. Check that out. That's cool. What are you putting in there? Okay. I'm Gregor, a novice. I know. I saw you at the ceremony. My name is Neblus, and I'm the provost here. Okay. I'm in charge of the monastery's property, as well as handling trade with the outside world. That means so. you get to leave the monastery? No, not at all. I just write lists and send them out. Uh, I'm here for my do daily duties. I'm here to work. Excellent. I've been waiting for you. There's the alchemist's laboratory. You'll find ingredients in the chests next to it. I want you to prepare two marigold decoctions. Okay, I can do that. Once you finish them, you'll find me somewhere nearby. Don't forget to let me know when you're done so I can check them. Okay. Could he open the chest because of a mod? Ah, uh, I don't think so. But see, like, it's just one of the amazing things about playing games slow and just doing it broken like I do. You just notice things that you just wouldn't notice if you just, like, blaze through the game. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but it's just what I experience from, from doing this. Playing it the way I do. I notice, like, a gazillion things that you just you just wouldn't notice. Or Nettis and Marigold. Nettle and Marigold. Okay. I made these before. Alright. Dog is still barking outside. I feel bad for the dog. I should have told him to, like, go home. Stay with, uh, what's her name? Where is it? He needs two? Just, just take out. Just take, just take them all. Fuck it. Alright. Uh, Marigold Potion. Okay, and I need what? Need water, a handful of nettles, and two Marigold. Alright, water. I don't have to, like... That's it? Okay, water. And what? Drop in the mare, drop in the nettle. Okay, cook for one turn, leave to cool. Oh, that's like super easy. There we go. Nettle. Drop it in the water. Okay, boil it for a turn. Okay. Two of marigold. 
Okay. There you go. Leave it to cool. This is like the easiest potion ever. It's actually like made to be easy. Is that enough? Yeah! Put the shit back. So I could like totally come in here and make poisons. Okay. Well, let's just... Salve, be well. Let's just, you know, be good for a while until I figure out the routine. Praise be to Christ, brother. Yeah, man. Uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. I'm the provost of this monastery. It's my job to ensure the monks live a humble life and that any surpluses go to the poor. But in reality, I spend all my time making sure my brother's gluttony and the construction of a new church don't swallow up the few resources we have left. Oh, okay. I'm interested in the election of the new abbot. You're not alone. Everyone's so worked up about that, they spent no time considering how they could make the monastery a better place now. Why? What's wrong with it now? Many brothers think more about their stomachs than prayer. The older brethren bend the rules of the order to make them fit their interests. Mm. So, to balance the scales, they want the novices to lead exemplary lives. Sin abounds here, just as in the outside world. That's douchey. What sins? what sins are you talking about? The scripture says that he who is without sin cast the first stone. I'm sorry, Gregor, it's not my place to speak about the sins of others. True. Tell me something about how the new abbot will be elected. A new abbot has to be elected once the old one dies. All the brethren can vote, with the exception of novices. The abbot's crozier will be conferred on whoever is chosen. Crozier. He'll take the vow. Cool. When he becomes abbot, a monk spends most of his time dealing with politics outside the monastery, instead of actually leading the monastery. But he still maintains okay. a fundamental influence on life here. Interesting. Can you tell me about Abbot Peter? Peter's wise in the ways of politics and a good shepherd, but as you've already heard, he's old and infirm. The other brothers see him with one foot in the grave, but I still have hope for him. But you, brother... Don't let yourself get involved in the games of your superiors. Could you help me with something? With what? Okay. I'm interested in medicine, and I know there's a cure for the abbot's ailment. Oh. With your help, I could find out the details, and together you and I could give old Peter a few more years to do good. What do you say? Okay. Sure. You can count on my help. What do you need me to do? In order to get the recipe for this medicant, a few rules will need to be broken. I think I already broke that rule. Now you know, most of the brothers believe every illness is a message from God, and that it's not our place to deny his will. I, however, think if God sent us not just illnesses, but also the medicine to cure them, mm -hmm. then it's our duty to relieve people of their suffering. Yes, that's very the true. The cure for Abbot Peter's illness could be contained in one of the books in our library, but it will certainly be amongst the Libri Prohibiti, the forbidden books, those we aren't permitted to read. Why are they forbidden? Why are they forbidden? Because they contain occult and demonic practices. Really? Witchcraft and all <laughs> manner of evil. Oh no. Or so some people claim. It's nonsense, of course. Oh, that's good. This is nothing but a book of medicine, albeit one written by a pagan. Ibn Sina, also known as Avicenna, is universally acknowledged to be a wise man. But here, at some point, someone decided his book was the work of a Saracen devil and must be kept under lock and key. 
Since then, no one can even talk about the book. But the three wise men were from the East, were they not? Okay. Where can I find it? I'll just be done. In the library, there's a large cabinet with a lock on it. The forbidden books are inside. You'll easily recognize what you're looking for. The cover has not only a Latin inscription, but also Saracen letters. Bring it to me, but leave the other books there. Uh... No one will notice if one book disappears, but if more were to vanish, someone would certainly begin to look into it, which is exactly what we don't want. Is there anything you can tell me that would help? There's a key to the cabinet in the prior's chambers. The librarian should have another one, or you can acquire some lockpicks. But I can't tell you where or how. Perhaps Brother Solarius could help. Brother Solarius has lockpicks. Brother Solarius have lockpicks. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. One more important thing. There's always someone in the library during the day. To pass unwatched, you'll need to go at night. It's locked, but I'm sure you'll manage to get in. They say Brother Solarius understands locks, but don't tell him why you need it. Once you have the book, bring it to me, and I'll then use it to make Peter's medicine. We'll soon have the election of the abbot over and done with. Okay. <laughs> Here's the book you wanted. <laughs> you already have it on me. But yeah. All right. Do you know what this torn page is? I'd like to obtain something on the quiet in the monastery. Oh, here, I get the potions. I've finished my work. Show me what you've made. Spectacular, Gregor. You've found your talent. Soon enough, you'll be teaching the other novices. Alright, so that's it. Uh, Avicenna. Yeah. Evan, the Cena potions were from Darklands too. A scientist and historian of Persia, one of the fathers of medicine. He studied from childhood learning logic, metaphysics, and astronomy. He devoted most of his time to medicine and philosophy and even experimented with remedies on his own body. Cool. During his lifetime, he wrote at least 450 works, of which some 240 have survived to this day, including 150 books concerning philosophy and 40 on medicine. Need. All right, so I got like a million quests on my quest log. Yo, this is like an entire new world. This is crazy. Managed to get my hands on the forbidden book. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of got the book already from um when I went to go steal the Necronomicon. I kind of wish that quest would have unlocked. Along with this quest, because it's kind of weird doing this. I I rather would have this been the first time for like being introduced to the to the monastery. But it's like I've already like been through this place like, up and down, like literally. But alright, but there's like a lot of stuff here. Wait, is, do I have new activities with this? No, that'd be kind of... Okay. Okay. So... What time is it? Tersus. Oh. Oh, so I'm working here. And then noon to work in the library. Shit, so I still got like 
Tons of time here. Stop these monks, eh? Talk to me, brother. You know what just torn pages? I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. Who'd tear up a book like that? Brother Librarian might know. Okay, thank you. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. What can you tell me about the novices here? And what can I say? You're here to demonstrate your devotion to God and to live a monastic life. After a year, you can make your vows and become a fully-fledged brother. I meant something specific about the brothers that are here. But you know them yourself. Yorick is a, an odd one, but he's diligent and eager, perhaps too eager. Siskin is good company, but a bit too worldly for a monk. Antonius is hard-working and will help with anything, but prays less than he ought. <laughs> Lucas is as quiet as a mouse, and no one knows much about him. And then we have you, about who I know nothing. Hmm. What are the roles of the various monks here? Well, the abbot is the head, but he's not here now. Then there's the prior, the sub-prior, the librarian, the porter, oh, many others. As a novice, you should be particularly mindful of the cicadas. They're the ones who maintain discipline and punish bad behaviour. Okay. Who would you like to be the new abbot? John. There's no other candidate. Nevertheless, just babbles on and on. Don't take him seriously. Okay. I'm interested in the monastery's history. Well, it was founded by St. Procopius 500 years ago. After his death, heretics occupied the place for some time. Really? But then the order was restored and the brothers of the true faith returned. Heretics, you say? Yeah. They wanted to worship God with some foreign rituals, in a language foreign to God. They were driven away and their books burnt. I wonder if he's talking about Jewish people. Can you tell me something about the rule of St. Benedict? Seven centuries ago, St. Benedict of Nursia wrote a collection of monastic rules, which we still follow today. I read at every meal. The fundamental precepts are obedience, work, and prayer. We're fully devoted to serving God. The outside world, beyond the monastery walls, is foreign to us. Do you never want to know what's going on out there? And what should be going on? The sky is just as blue, the grass is just as green. Perhaps the rulers change, but the greatest ruler of them all will remain unchanged throughout the ages. Interesting. It's kind of interesting that, like, these monks are just de deprived of knowing what's outside. Because it kind of does make it so that they can focus on religion and really like the goings on of like how the world is changing. Like even even if the world is changing, they wouldn't know of it. Only that you know there's there's God and they're supposed to do God things. What's in here? What's this? Oh, what I need bandages. Kind of a shame I took a whole lot of stuff that used to be here. Um, you know, I I could arm myself with alchemy. I could do that. Take everything. With the things I know, like for example, what's this? No, I don't need this. 
I can make poisons. We're not really there yet. Definitely make these. Let's make one of these. I need one to drink one of these. Uh, this is spirits, right? Yeah, it's all spirits. You will need spirits, a handful of Valerian and two of mint. Need to grind the mint. So Valerian goes here. Okay. Grind the mint, boil the mint for one turn. The Valeria and boy for two more turns to still. Saber snaps, that might help me, actually. Moonshine. Don't make a potion. Shit, I should have, like, learned more recipes. That's it. A lullaby potion definitely would help. Don't make a potion might help. Poisons. I'm not, I don't think I don't need to kill any of the monks. But I'm glad I can drink Red Bulls here. Bam. So, can I sneak out of here? I can. I'll get in trouble. Oh, you wanna talk? What do you desire, Brother Gregor? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Tell me something about life here. Prayer, work, obedience. That just about sums it up. Are there ever any disagreements between the brothers? Unfortunately, yes. The biggest quarrels right now are about the election of the new abbot. They can already see poor Peter in his grave. Tell me something about electing the abbot. The old abbot is practically on his deathbed. There are two candidates. Half the monastery wants John, the other half Nevelus, and there's no chance they'll come to an agreement. But you've probably already noticed the atmosphere around here. Wait, Brother Nevelus is next to the abbot? Tell me about John. John is a circator and the oldest brother here. It would be only natural if he took the crozier from Peter. 
He has experience, merit, and composure. He'd lead the monastery wisely. And what's wrong with Nevlos? I'd like to know about Nevlos. Nevlos manages the monastery's property. He doesn't have the most experience, but his drive and heart are pure, his faith firm, and his ideas rational, although perhaps he's too keen to change our routines here, which many brothers don't like. Yes, sir. Why does it matter so much who wins? Because the future direction of the monastery hangs in the balance. The younger brothers feel they have to work more than their superior brothers, and that some brothers are more concerned with their own comfort than with worshipping God. The older brothers take a different view. They say the younger monks want privileges they haven't earned, and each side uh. has its own candidate. I thought politics weren't part of the monastic way of life. You're right. But we know nothing besides the monastery, and the abbot's decisions can influence our entire life. Some of the brothers take it very personally. True. Who would you like to be the new abbot? John. There's no other candidate. Nebulus just babbles on and on. Don't take him seriously. Okay. Can you leave the monastery? Where would you go? You have everything you need here. Anyway, all the doors here are closed and locked tight, so no one can get in or out. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What's that? Hey. Shit, if only there were like ocean recipes. Oh, there's still broken up a storm outside. Read. Oh shit. There are th there are artworks here. Your dog is back. I kind of didn't just like tell the dog to like go away for a little while. Scattered pages, yeah, it is. Uh, side quests. Okay. <laughs> Go to the work in the scriptorium. Alright. Scriptorium is upstairs. I want to say it's up here. Yes. Uh, where's the brother librarian? Where's our psyker? This is totally like... <laughs> 40k vibes. There he is. What is it, brother? Uh, I'm here for my daily duties. I'm here to work. Good. This is most likely the first time you've ever done this in your life. But it's easier than you think. Just a bit of practice and learning Latin. Here's okay. the original, and here are the blank parchments on which you'll copy what you read in the original. Is that clear? Then you may begin, and try not to make a mess of it. Sit at the table and begin copying. Seriously, game? Alright, Workhorse Studios. <laughs> at a table. Can I sit here? Start transcribing, oh god! <laughs> oh shit! Uh, Dingus... 
Benda benda sen what? Uh, I what am I looking at? Made mid Nathan in Domini Oregano. Orad I think that's what that says. Erita in Ad No wait. Advent I They both look the same. Me Fury <laughs> This this looks the same In I I guess it's this one. Add Salve Domine. Do Add Let's do this. Uh what am I gonna know? The Omnibus Sanctus Orato or the Onibus Sanctus Alto or J Omnibus Sanctus Two. Uh, the Om. And it looks like. The Anibus Sand. That doesn't look like an ass, it looks like a big ass. It looks like this. The. But bits? I don't see a T in there. J? Is that a J? What do J's look like? J? J Omni is sent. Like what? What about this? Uh, now what I'm looking at? Where am I changing my bar? Eh. I don't even know what I'm looking at. So. What am I copying? What am I copying? What portion is am I copying? <laughs> uh, the first line? L B Monet Filipino Hey. Whoa, this is hard, man. I think it's. I don't know, it looks like this. Hey. That. Yeah. It totally looks like this. Right now. Come on, Henry, draw me a cat. I wanted to pan back and I want to see like a picture of a cat. Did I just waste parchment? Alright, so now what do I take it to the message librarian? Submit your work to the librarian. Oh boy. Do I get a copy of it? Can I look at it? Oh shit, I forgot to put this shit back. Whoops.
I have to look at it. I'm working, I'm going. Okay, I copied it. You call that a copy? You've completely <laughs> ruined the <laughs> parchment with your scribbling. Like that. Uh, so do I do it again? Wait, I don't want to do it again. Uh, quest log. He wasn't satisfied with the job I did. Can I do it again? No, I can't do it again. Okay, but now I get to like spend time here talking to dudes. Oh, you interested in what's inside? Yes. Forbidden books, written by the devil himself. Forget about them. What would you like? I'd like to ask about something. Can't you see I'm working? Ask someone else. Yeah, people here don't want to like talk to people. These 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 people are actually busy. What would you like? I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Oh. Who's in charge of things around here? Abbot Peter is the administrator of the monastery, but you won't see him. He's always traveling, and on top of that, he's old and infirm. Perhaps the good Lord will bless him with many more years of life. And what happens when the old abbot dies? Then we elect a new one. Are there any candidates to be the new abbot? Yes, there are. Brothers John and Nedlas, cursed elections. Since the brothers began talking about them, there's only been strife in the monastery. On one side are brothers who'd like to see John as abbot. On the other, those who support Nevelus, and they seem to be capable of fighting about it forever. Who would you like to be the new abbot? Brother John, obviously. No one's interested in Nevelus and his new ideas. Thank you. Oh, the librarian. What troubles you? Is it possible to learn something about the other novices in the library? Only the abbot and the prior keep such records. And can I see them? No. The abbot writes and keeps his records in his chambers, and only he and the prior are permitted to read them. That's interesting. Okay. So, I, I found these pages. I found this piece of parchment. It looks like it's been ripped out of a book. Do you know what it is? Hmm. It appears to be a page torn out of Ovid. What? Ovid? What is that? Is it the name of a book? Not what, but who? Ovid was a great Roman poet. We have a few volumes by him in the library, but one of them vanished one day. Now I believe I can guess what happened. Brother Eustace, may the earth rest lightly on him, was quite narrow-minded when it came to classical literature. If a book had any mention of woman at all, he condemned it as a <laughs> heretical work. If he'd had his way, all such books would have been burned. Ovid's The Art of Love must have been such a thorn in his side that he stole it from the library, tore it up, and hid the pages wherever he could. Okay, do you want, do you want, do you want me to put the book back together? Oh, would you like me to put the book back together again? Absolutely. Eustace's wits weren't the sharpest, so I'm sure he didn't destroy any of the pages. I imagine he hid them throughout the monastery. It might take you a while to find them all, but when you do, you can rest assured Ovid will return to his rightful place in the library. Okay. Good. I'll look around for it. Thank you, brother. It's of no great importance, but if you can find all ten pages, I'll all be most grateful. Ten pages? Can you tell me something about the can book? Can you tell me something about the book? The Art of Love is a sort of manual 
instructing young people how to find and maintain love. It's a lovely word. I don't understand what bothered Eustace so much about it, but as I was saying, he considered the book to be immoral and tore it up to stop it corrupting any of his brothers. It's like the only porn book. Where should I look? Everywhere. If I knew, I wouldn't have asked you to do it. Yeah. The pages of the book could be hidden anywhere, from the garden to the refectory. Oh. Huh. Oh, so I found a few pages, I think. I found a few pages of the torn up book, but I still don't have them all. Wonderful. Keep looking, then. I'm sure you can find the rest. So did I give those up? No, I need two more. They're probably in the... in the... garden, because it's like probably the only place I haven't really looked around. I need to do here. So what's next? Noon prayers or something probably. Yeah, afternoon worship. I gotta be there. Okay, I'm gonna hang this. Look at that, just like, I don't know, the book. When's his loss? I kinda know a lot about this guy. When he, when the Emperor Charles died, uh, he ruled well at first, but poor counselors and unwise rulers of the lands of Europe did vex him greatly, and thus the king, abandoning his initial enthusiasm, turned his attention instead to drinking and hunting. Oh, so it wasn't his fault. I see. And thus an empire did discontent with the new ruler grow, and once his laws, instead of reconciling conflicts, fled from them, for he did not need to resolve them. Thus it came to be that he did not go to receive his crown, for he desired not to enrage the French, who at that time had their own pope in Avignon. And he did cause such indignation in the martyr. Goravate of Moravia, the jobs of Moravia had him imprisoned until the king of the Abruzzo. He was freed by his brother John. Uh huh. Right, and everybody preferred his second brother Sigismund, who ruled in Hungary at the time. When does he? Okay. Be well. Well, do we get to go? Oh, it's the prior. Hey, man. I'm a new brother, a novice, Gregor. I don't know my way around here yet. You're in charge of the whole monastery, aren't you? Welcome amongst us. Yes, yes. The Lord wanted me to take over the abbot's duties in his absence, but mainly I'm a servant of God, just like you and all the other brethren. Before God, there's no difference between us. How do you like it here? Uh, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I haven't been here long. You're too humble. I'm sure you must have some opinion, but I won't pry it out of you. Okay. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Uh, so who's like in charge here then? Who's in charge of things around here? Abbot Peter is the administrator of the monastery. Right, but he's not here. You see him. He's always traveling, and on top of that, he's old and infirm. Perhaps the good Lord will bless him with many more years of life. And what oh, happens think... when the old abbot dies? Then we elect a new one. Oh. I thought he might say something different. 
Will you tell me something about how the abbot is elected? Of course. Abbot Peter is old, and we're afraid he'll soon be with our Heavenly Father. When he's gone, someone else will have to lead the monastery. All the elder brothers will assemble to choose who that is. Anyone can become the abbot. Precisely. Wow. We have two candidates, Nevlas and John. As the spiritual shepherd of all of the brothers here, I'm not allowed to publicly express a preference for either. Uh -huh. And as a novice, you shouldn't be involved in the election. I know that some brothers have already begun scheming, but don't even think about getting mixed up in it. With the blessing of the Holy Spirit, all will end up as it should be. Interesting. Thank you. So, like, any of these guys could be the abbot. It just, you know, it's going to be elected. Well, that's kind of interesting. There's no... It's not... Based on hierarchy or anything like that. Any other books to read? This one. Red enemies for fleas and mords. And yeah, shame there's like no like disease. You can't like get diseases in this game. I thought that'd be kind of neat, you know, because it's like medieval times. You should totally be able to get infected with some kind of like. Don't even look at that cabinet. It contains forbidden books. Some like crazy medieval herpes. I finished my work. I finished my job too early. What's in here? Nothing. Books are boring. Oh, oh wait, the Holy Church is the home of all Christians? Yeah, right. So there's like multiple popes. The Pope was the leader of all Christianity. And successor to the seat of St. Peter, which was established by our Lord Jesus Christ himself. Oh, what? St. Peter was the original Pope? Whoa. Yeah, but it had transpired that not one but two Holy Fathers sit upon the Papal seat. And good Christians can only argue over which is the true one and which one should be respected and which shall be eternally damned. It all began when Pope Boniface VIII refused to crown King Philip the Fair of France as Emperor. To which the latter refused acquaintance and in the year 1309 he had the Holy See removed to Avignon. Where he could keep it under his watchful eye. Thus, for many years, the Holy Father sat upon the papal throne not in Rome, but in France. So, like, Netflix has, like, a series about, like, the... Was it the... Those night guys? Um, the Night Templars? And it takes a place around this time? And, yeah, King Philip is a douchebag in it. And there is another pope. But he like super dies, I think. Anyway, in 1377, Pope Gregory decided to leave Avignon. Wait, is Greg? Where's who? Which one's? What the fuck? What, I thought it was Boniface and and wait, wait, but what? Pope Boniface VIII refused to crown King Philip the Fair of France as emperor. Emperor? What of France? Which the latter refused to. Please, he removed to. Holy Father set up on the papal throne on Rome, but in France. And in 1377, Pope Gregory decided to leave Avignon and return the papal seat to Rome. But after his untimely death, two conclaves met to elect a new pope, in which, in both Rome and Avignon, and thus it came to be that there was a Pope Urban. In Rome and a Pope Clement in France and both received great support from the rulers of Europe who favored one Pope over the other as they saw fit. These two Popes executed each other and proclaimed each other to be an arch heretic and the anti Pope. That's pretty funny. And that's a great schism and decline within the Holy Church did arise and now many do criticize it and demand remediation or how can the Pope fulfill his duties as a shepherd when there are, in fact, two Popes who claim to be the true representative of God and their rival to be a messenger of Satan? 
Yeah, whose words should a good Christian heed and whom should they entreat for intercession? Well, the one that your king believes in, I guess. Otherwise, you'll get your throat cut out. Which pope's hand may anoint a king? As long as there are two popes, hunger and pestilence shall plague the entire world, and much strife and suffering does await us. How did we get two popes in the first place? Because of the king of France? How was he just allowed to be like, yeah, this is the new pope now? Like, how did he, how did that happen? Wait, is everybody gone? How was the first pope okay with a new pope popping up out of nowhere? I wonder how that conversation went down. Are we done yet, guys? Come on, stop scribing. What's this book? I need to like kill this pious guy quickly, although we'll be stuck doing this like for days. I'm like, I'm afraid to wait because I don't want to like blow past my work schedule time. Like sneak out of here. Oh, there's blood here. Oh, what's what's next? Oops. Oh, there we go. Go to the church for prayer. I do that. As long as the circators are okay with it. Wait. What Stop, the... drag all. No! No! Fucking A! I was going to the church! Ah! Someone hide me! Something. The circators are after me! Close the door! He's gonna take my plants! Oh, you interested in what's inside? No. Ooh, ooh. I'm not neglecting my work. I'm going. Guys, go! Oh no, he's coming at me! Uh, I'm just move off. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. No. Brother. Yes. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, admit my guilt. You're right, brother. Now this is your third warning, and do you know what that means? Already? Already? A day in solitary confinement. Fuck. Very well, brother. I accept my punishment. Oh, wait, I put my rolls back. Now, show me what you have on you. I must confiscate anything that is not allowed in the monastery. Completely naked. Crap. <laughs> I, uh... I lost my robes. This <laughs> brother Gregor sucks at being a, a novice. Oh god, my punishment days are increasing. I'm gonna die in here. Oh shit, my punishment time is increasing. Henry's gonna die in here. Henry's gonna grow old in here. Like, Sir Ratzik will be dead by the time I get to this guy.
go to bed. All right. Oops. What? Wait. What? What? Okay. Oh wait, I got my rose back. All right, cool. Let's see if I can do it without getting arrested. No oh, shit. I'm doing it too fast. Alright, or at least I just gotta avoid the circators. There we go. Hey, brother, Peace brother. be with you, brother. Same with you. I have to like save it. Oh, I can't save it quick. I might need to do that. I need to call the stream soon. I didn't know this. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think this shit would be so intense. Like. Why, why wasn't this game at this intensity like the entire time? I wasn't prepared for this. I thought it was just gonna be like alchemy. You just kinda like throw shit in there and it, you kinda half-ass it but you still get a potion? No. Not at the monastery. Monastery, you take two steps to the left and you're going to jail. I'm just gonna stand back here, okay? You guys. Gonna uh, back here. Let's pickpocket random people. Because what? The I can't pickpocket him. Yeah. But I mean, they're not even like looking. Oh god. I used the perk friendly neighbor. Oh. Cool. But then my. Oh, my monastery reputation's going up. Oh shit, I'm doing. No, no. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. No! <laughs> what? What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be working somewhere? Uh. You're sorry. right, brother. This is your first warning. Don't do it again. Yo. This is fucking hard, like. I did this so slowly. You know, guys, we get so much more work done. If you guys could just remember the fact that God didn't forbid us from running. You know, I don't think... I think using our two feet for the good of, good of Christ is not forbid. What the fuck? What the fuck? For it is written, in much speaking, you will not escape sin. And in another place, death and life are in the power of the tongue. For speaking and teaching belong to the master. The disciple's part is to be silent to listen. And for that reason, if anything has to be asked of the superior, it should be asked with all the humility of submission, inspired by reverence. But as for coarse jests and... What is it, brother? Oh, I, th I thought we were not allowed to talk here. I'd like to ask you something about the monastery. Who would you like to be the new abbot? John, there's no other candidate. Nevlas just babbles on and on. Don't take him seriously. Yeah, this will be a good time to talk to the other novices. 
by his deeds even more than by his words, expounding the Lord's commandments in words to the intelligent among his disciples, but demonstrating the divine precepts by his actions for those of harder hearts and ruder minds. The abbot should always remember what he is and what he is called, and should know that to whom more is committed. From him, more so this, is this is my Let him make no distinction of persons in the monastery. Sir Kator. Let him not love one more than another, unless it That's be just one whom my better than spot to eat. And let him not shut his eyes to the faults of offenders, but since he has the authority, let him cut out those faults by the roots as soon as they begin to appear. Alright, but you know I have to call a stream. But this this monastery thing is cool though. So now I gotta like I basically have to get used to the routine so that I can learn when to when I can break routine to investigate to 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 you know uh continue my investigation as as like a spy or as as like a I don't know like a special agent for Sir Radzik. This is cool though, like it's like for real. I really gotta like learn the routine, I get used to it, and like figure out who goes where and who's friendly with what. So it's kind of like everything I wanted out of like uh, not using a waypoint to like having to, like you know, the, all those like thieving quests where I have to like basically figure out uh, my Mark's routine so that I can like tell when he's working and basically when he goes home so I can follow him home. Like pickpocket his keys, take the keys, figure out who is who also lives in the house and all this other crap. But basically I'm doing it in the monastery. This is like huge, bigger scale. So right, so next time just continue my life as a monk, Monk Gregor. Uh I guess the first thing on the list is to learn to talk to my other novices. I haven't gotten to do that yet. Basically learning the ropes. And I but I think I kinda got it. I just don't understand like there seems to be like a, like a like a like a moving bubble. Whenever there's like a shift change, and if I like, and like it kind of moves toward my next location in its own pace, and I have to like be in this invisible bubble and like move with it. Otherwise, the circator is like catch me. That's what we're gonna learn like where this mysterious bubble is, or just avoid the circators in general. But like everybody moves together, so it's kind of hard to do that. But so that I don't end up in jail, I, I guess I would have to. And then while doing that, I'll talk to the novices. Like here, at, during, you know, like, in mess hall, during lunchtime, I can talk to them, apparently. Like, I thought I was instructed that I, you have to eat in silence, but apparently that's not like a thing. Talk to them, get to know them, trying to figure out which one is pious, and then make our move. But then, like, all the, there's like all these other quests involved. So... You know, like, I like how there's, like, other things, qu other quests to do. And so I to get to do that. Get on the good sides of other monks, get, you know, maybe... Maybe that's, like, one way of figuring out who Pius is. Getting on someone's good side, being friendly with a, a monk enough to be able to, like, I don't know, bring him into our, like, retinue. You know, maybe he, we can, like, tell him that we're actually looking for this guy. I don't know. Looks like there's a lot of ways to do this quest, and it's kind of interesting. Alright, but I'll see you guys next time. It'll be either tomorrow night, like around this time, or Thursday. I'm sure, I'll be able to do it tomorrow. I think tomorrow will be busy, but we'll see. Alright, okay, bye.